Last Saturday, coming into uh, the week three of our build season, we came in wanting to know all of our critical orders that we needed to get the job done for this week. So we needed uh, all the materials and stuff, all the bolts that we were missing, everything we needed to know so that we can prototype for throughout the week. Uh, we created a physical MVP of our in-game ramps. So we just needed to find angles that we needed and basically measurements and stuff that we needed, but it wasn't top priority. So we just got that done, knocked it out real quick on Saturday. We collected all of the electronics for the drivetrain. So basically later on in the week we got the drivetrain, but we needed to have the electronics ready so that we could just throw it onto the drivetrain and get it running as quickly as possible. We made a Home Depot run to get all of the wood that we needed to create our practice field for all the game elements and stuff. Um, we found the bolts for the ball shifter that we needed to mount it to the plates that we got water jetted. Um, on Monday, we compiled the correct sprockets so that we could just have them there ready to throw into the drive tubes when we get them. Uh, we fabricated masonite intake prototypes out of, uh, we do that out of masonite just so we can have a proof of concept before we move into the metal. Uh, just to show us measurements and stuff, anything that we need to fix, it's a lot easier to play or mess with than metal is. Uh, we got bolts to hold the sprockets together, so we have bins that we just had to shuffle through and get a bunch of bolts to put them together, get the correct length and stuff. On Monday we also did the rough draft of our chairman's essay after writing throughout the weekend, getting that all nice and tidy. On Tuesday we got the correct tires for our drive train. We had to air them up, dig them out of the bins of tires that we have. Um, we created spaces for the drive train shafts, so our uh, sprockets needed correct placement inside the drive tube so we don't have a shifted uh, chain. We picked up our water jet parts from our water jet sponsor, Baird & Wilson. Um, basically that was the ball shifter mounting plates and the electronic components plates, or belly pan. It houses all the electronics. We assembled the sprockets after going through and finding what correct spacing we want in between them and like clearances and stuff. On Wednesday we got all of the hex bearings that were in the shop. Uh, we were running a little low, so we had to find those and get them in one tidy place so that we can assemble the drivetrain. Uh, we populated the belly plan with electronics. Um, after collecting all of them, we basically just had it there so we can just mount them straight to the belly pan as soon as we got it and just get the ball rolling on that. Uh, we built the proper chain lengths that we needed, so we went into CAD, found the proper chain lengths that we needed, and then counted out the chain lengths and then built them so that on Thursday, moving into Thursday, we can assemble the drivetrain. We got the correct tubes, and uh, so we, after having all of this ready for it to come in, as soon as we got it, we jumped right in and started assembling that. Um, we wired all the electronical, electronic components to, uh, that were on the belly pan to like the ball shifters and stuff to make it easier and game ready. Uh, we had now analyze the game strategy, so basically going through and finding every single possible way to get the maximum amount of points on each alliance. And Friday, we have our final chairman's essay done. It's ready to do, click submit, but we're going to do a full team review and everybody's going to read it just to make sure it's nice. Um, and then we built the platform finally to um, for our miniature practice field that we're going to have here. Overall, the week went well. But uh, we ran into a few speed bumps, and things take longer than they usually do. So we overcame, and we're catching back up. Mm -hmm.